these big boys, I mean, what is happening now in the market? So, of course, the Silicon Valley side is something that we have to be worried about. Although there's a lot of um, the, the Feds is coming out to tell us that you don't have to be worried about that. But looking at this, for my point of view, is going to have a domino effect into that because freezing those startup uh, or company uh, account is not going to uh, save that and of course i'm not sure whether their current account is protected by the pidm site okay but uh definitely these kind of startups they're gonna have like more than two hundred fifty thousand in their bank accounts so they are going through a very tough time over here so of course as a trader like i say one coin there's two sides so whether you see this you see this in the market if let's say you don't want to go like short or make the profit make make the opportunity when the market is going down then you can stay aside all right especially if you look into those stocks that they are having like churning um sign of churning volume so usually these kind of stocks they are relying on um limit like for example this kind of price movement you will see this kind of price movement that show up. They always keep on churning up price higher, 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 and then suddenly throw down. Keep on churning up higher, higher, and then suddenly throw down. Okay, so these kind of stocks you have to be careful because they rely a lot in limit. So okay, the limit that provides by the brokerage side. So if market really turns bad later on, then Busa cut the limits. Then this kind of stock is going to get it very soon. Okay, like for example, if you see. The price can go down like this so it's horrible so try to try try not to be greedy and look into these kind of stocks because basically you can't see anything but you know that those guys they are doing their churning churning their volume up but when they throw it down it's gonna be horrible okay so don't get yourself into miser uh don't get yourself miserable miserable or whatever it is okay so avoid into all these stocks avoid um exposing too much of the risk into it but if let's say you are an opportunist then you know that you see what kind of opportunity you can take from the current market right now okay all right so that's my point over here that i want to share uh, about the silicon valley right now and of course uh they say the government coming uh, they may, might be coming in to build this thing out but i from what i see is that um the Federal Reserve right now, they are having a very huge problem also. What problem is it? Debt ceiling. Okay, other than debt ceiling and also interest rate height. The interest rate height is too much. I won't say it's too much. It's hurting the economy. And of course, the pricing is moving up a lot. And there's a lot of things that they need to handle. And right now, the banking side, do they have the way to save this of course they do have the way to save this the reason is because um this the at the end of the day they though they only have one choice to do is that they increase their debt ceiling again and then continue to print more money but the problem this thing actually puts them into a very awkward situation right now what is so awkward about it is because uh, on one side, we have this SVB thing, okay? On the other side, we have the interest rate high, okay, by the Federal Reserve, okay? Interest rate high, inflation to fight, and so it's like, in Chinese, we say one thing, okay? Your, in, your, your ship, your boat in front is burning, and at the back also, back of your ship also burning. So it's burning from two sides so it will be interesting how they look into it so in in fact it will be a very uh good opportunity i find that i what this yesterday when i look into this then i find that wow it's a huge opportunity in the market although it, it can be something that i mean this is stock market this is financial market if you are fortunate in one side you can be the unfortunate one on the other side so it depends on how you see this in in the in the, the the opportunity so we see the opportunity over here so if you do see that also 
then you know how to react to this okay but of course this may take a little bit time to react in the market slowly um so be careful about that okay so yeah that's my sharing here uh, i hope everyone of you like my sharing today and understand what i mean so let me do a summary about this svb the silicon valley banks that they, they have collapsed even though hsbc say that they are buying out their uk arm but the main thing is still in the us so it's not going to help much from buying up from the uk side uh things is still going on and uh we look into the current market today those stocks that they are marking up higher in the top active place today in the malaysia market they are not showing sign that they are they want to mark the price up higher but they are showing more sign of they want to press the town uh just to mark the price up churning uh keep maintaining the price at high side to give that kind of positive false positive um idea that they the, the the market is rebound nothing to worry but in fact from the transaction itself is telling us something is not right in the market okay and then looking overall right now things will be very tough and for the us side to make the decision how to save this increase interest rate how to fight the inflation it's going to take some time because they're going to debate from both sides okay until they get something that in common and also increasing your debt ceiling all this thing so before all these thing that they have can comes into uh an agreement and to execute to save the economy is gonna have some impact in the financial market so this from what i see is an opportunities all right so this is the difference between us and uh others where when you look into the overall market you react to the current market how it works and then we react upon it so we are not just trading or investing when the market is up or is in the uptrend okay we are trading and investing according to the market if the market is going down then we use the down market way of doing it okay all right so that's my sharing over here if let's say you find it interesting do give us a like and share this out to your friends and anyone that interested into this uh and of course uh if you want to know more about us you can go to our facebook page watch some of the video that we have okay you will understand more on how we look at the market okay all right so thank you very much i'll see you guys again next week i'll see you again whether uh anything new that is coming up then if let's say there are something new then I'm going to do a live stream again. So if I say you would like us to talk about something else, do let us know. Uh, I will share uh, the topics that you want us to cover into that. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.